Dr. Craig, our question of the day, is the Big Bang compatible with the book of Genesis? Wow, that's a big question. (laughs) Uh, I think it is. Um, It's certainly compatible with what Genesis says at the very beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hebrew, the language, had no word for the universe. So they would use the expression the heavens and the earth to mean the totality of everything. And so it says, in the beginning, God created the universe. And then in verse 2, the focus suddenly shifts. It narrows to the earth. And it says, the earth was without form and void. So I take it that verse 1 describes the origin of the universe, and then the remainder of the chapter describes how God turned the earth into a habitable place for man. From what you're saying, it seems that the Christian should not be in any way threatened by Big Bang cosmology and the research done in that area. I don't think so, because the Big Bang confirms the fact that the universe has not existed forever, but came into being and was created. Psalm 19 says that the heavens declare the glory of God, and they literally give knowledge of what he has done. Can we take that to mean that God has revealed himself in nature and we can actually gain knowledge of how he's done it and what creation says? Oh, I I believe that very firmly, that you see the fingerprints of the potter and the clay, so to speak, and that as physical science probes the universe, it finds, as it were, signposts of transcendence pointing beyond its existence to its ground in a supernatural creator and designer. For more resources like these from Dr. William Lane Craig, go to reasonablefaith.org. That's reasonablefaith.org.